And now we're going to go ahead and show you how to uh, do a couple basic things in Audacity uh, to begin to make your soundscape, importing multiple audio files, your sound effects files that you've come uh, downloaded, and uh, go ahead and show you a couple quick hints to get you set up and running. So firstly, if you go to File, Import, and Audio, uh, is one way you can find your files. Alternatively, I just have the folder open already with my files in it. I'm just going to throw not all of them in there, just a couple just to give you an idea what goes on. So you can literally highlight and click and drag into the program. And you can see your files here have now loaded. If I were to simply hit play right now, it's going to play all five or six of those sounds at once. Obviously, it just sounds like a mess. You're going to want to start organizing your files according to your planning document using this time shift tool right here. By clicking that, I'm actually able to click right on each of these different uh, tracks and drag them down the timeline. And the timeline is up here in seconds, as we can see. So I'm actually able to drag this around and drag that one there and there, sort of just to stagger them a little bit. Okay, this is a nice long one, but that one's there. And now if I hit play, it should be a lot clearer. I'm going to click to rewind and I hit play. Okay, there's our first sound. The next one coming up will be here. Some white noise. And in fact, I don't much care for that track, so I'm going to cut that one right out. Just exit. And it's gone. So as we go along and play with this, the most tools you will use basically will be the time shift tool to be able to drag and drop. I'll just show that example again. And again, you're going to have up to two, three, four, five, six different sounds playing at once. Depends upon the sound and your soundscape that you're trying to create. The other important tool in my uh, thought here is the selection tool. Selection tool allows you to highlight portions of your track and edit it. So you can go ahead and uh, simply delete out a portion of your track uh, or cut and paste just like you can do with words, part, portions of the audio. So I'll just show you quickly here. I can highlight a little bit. I can go to edit. And I can do a few different things. Copy it, okay, duplicate it, uh, those sorts of things. Uh, if I go to remove audio, I can just cut it. So that puts it temporarily on my clipboard, which I can paste later on. Or I can just uh, delete it, split it, a bunch of different things. I'm going to delete it, and it's gone. So again, another really useful tool here. And again, where we want this soundscape to be a specific length, in this instance, 60 seconds, you're going to want to make sure that it's at the end, it's highlighted, and you delete any extra. So when you go as far as you can to the right, it should go to 60 seconds, and that is it. So overall, that's a quick tutorial on how to use Audacity to do some changing, uh, importing of your tracks, edit them a little bit, and finally, we're gonna, I'm going to show you to export them as well. If we click File and go to Export. What this does is it actually will merge the files all together and make one soundtrack file. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on my desktop. I'm actually going to use the AUG Vorbis format. It's a little bit easier because I don't have to install a third party uh, piece of software. It's very similar in a lot of ways to MP3 in terms of its compression and quality. So just select AUG Vorbis and airport. Go ahead and hit save. A complicated window will come up saying artist name and that sort of thing. I could put stuff in here if I want, okay, etc. If you wanted to, but you don't need to. Uh, but it's up to you. Uh, once you've done that, simply hit OK. It's going to mix it down to two stereo channels. That's fine. And now you'll see it's doing just what I asked. File is done. Uh, I could go to my desktop now. 
and have it right here. Another quick feature we should highlight, you could save the project as a project file. So you just go file, save project as, it's making a .aup file format. It's a file that only Audacity can open. So when you open this file, it actually opens up in the Audacity program and you can go ahead and edit the file, your soundscape on the whole. So this is a project file. That Og Vorbis file is a completely uh, merged file that is just one soundtrack file soundscape. This one allows us still to go back to our project file and make changes if we need to. And that's an important one. And it asked me where I want to save all the soundtracks, uh, the, the different sound effects I've used. Uh, I could save without copying because I know exactly where they are. It's fine. And again, that's uh, gone ahead and we saved it. Uh, and we can see that that file is there now uh, on my, uh, in my soundscape folder. Uh, so once you've done that, you can go ahead and upload your finalized Aug Warbus file or send it an email. Uh, and the soundscape project is completed.